Hey everybody! Welcome back to another Land Plays Darkest Dungeon. We're running out of excuses to not go to the Darkest Dungeon. Where we will try to kill one shuffling horror. As of right now, we have like two things to do before that. One of them is kill a boss, the other one is get to the boss. <laughs> we need to get the sunken crew, right? Already, like I'm not trying to be braggadocious, but the fact that we have checked off almost everything here Except the hardest things, but still, almost everything here is amazing to me. Sincerely. In Darkest Dungeon in the past, I mean, we weren't playing on Radiant mode, but still, we maybe did 40% of this at most. So this is, it's very impressive to me and it feels nice. I'm proud of myself. But we've still got a little bit more to do. And I solicited your tips. Some of your tips were like, hey, take your shield break, Kerr. They're extremely good. Try to take them out on missions. You idiot. Take your flagellant out on more missions. Learn something about how they work. That's a good tip. Hey, here's another tip. Your Vestal Scroll lowers your stun chance, but the UI doesn't show it. Ooh, I never considered that. Now I gotta do some basic arithmetic to figure out my stun chances. No wonder my stuns were ra landing so rarely. So, I always want to accomplish a couple of things per level. What I want to accomplish here is, uh, I want Nicholas to get, well, Nicholas the second, sorry, to get maximum level stuff. What do we even roll on him right now? Mark and Bolus. There we go. Um, I want him to be good to go. And then, I want to use Maya's Serpent Sway ability, which moves her forward, but also gives her two blocks, which I believe just negates you know, whatever she would be hit by, which is kind of incredible. You only get to use it twice per battle, but still. And then, hold on, somebody recommended Reclaim. Heal two points around for two rounds. Bleed three points around for two rounds. I don't understand how that works yet, but I'm willing to give it a try in the interest of, of mixing my parties up a little bit. So it's Reclaim. Heal 3, bleed for 4. Heal 3, bleed 4. Heal 3, heal 4, bleed 5. I'm assuming... Well, the bleed doesn't even have a percentage chance. It just guarantees your bleed. So I, don't, I still don't understand why I use it, but... That's okay. We'll we'll try to figure it out. We'll try to learn. So I do want to I want to do a couple of things in this mission. We're not going to roll a mark party, but we are going to take Nicholas the second so that hopefully he can uh, level up. And we're going to do a medium mission, get a tough ring, and then probably sell it. But uh, we need a healer. I mean, we could roll an occultist on the cove because we get the bonus there. So it is kind of like a pseudo mark party, admittedly. And then I just want to make sure this will work. If we take Maya, here. Maya, hoo, hoo, hoo. Maya, ha, Maya, ha, ha. What do we get rid of, though? Probably Impale, right? It is AoE, but... Hold on, what have I done here? What is selected, what is not selected? You're selected. Captivate is really good. Like, the Blight is absurd. Plus, it does more damage against Marked. I'm afraid to... admit, but still. Pierce, you can still front, front, only middle two. Because typically we'd probably start you here, and then we put Cory up at the front. Works, works, works. But we're getting rid of probably, uh, probably Endure, sadly, to make reclaim work. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Why would we ever want to heal for four? When we would bleed for five. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go, uh... I'm gonna look it up. Why use Reclaim... Flagellants... And I spelled it wrong on my phone here, if you'll give me a second. Why use Reclaim Flagellant? What's the purpose of Reclaim? Ah! The DOT outpaces the HOT, yes. 
For Reclaim, the Flagellant gets exponentially stronger as his health gets lower, unlocking several good abilities. As well, he gets stronger with higher stress, particularly when he's afflicted. So Lashes... What is it? Redeem? Endure? I mean, this might have been an ability that changed, because this is a little bit of an old post, but... Hmm. It also saves a hero from dying before DOTs, because you heal, and then you get bled. So it just puts you back on death's door. Plus, the heals can crit. Interesting. They also stress heal the target. Alright. <clears throat> it's interesting, at least. I learned something. Now, you on first turn would probably either pierce or serpent sway or... I mean, there's plenty of different moves, I guess. <clears throat> Acceptable. Do not embark. Thank you for reminding me. Alright, unequip all trinkets, sort by rarity. And then... Why not give you that? And, I mean, to be honest with you, like, I, I we got the eyeball last time. 15 act plus 3 speed in this position 4, but the sniper's ring is, like, really good. Oh, but the arbalist. Wrathful bandana. 15 ack 4 crit with a negative versus 15 ack 3 speed and less stress. So this probably is better. Yeah, I think we can afford to do it like that. Now you as the occultist, we always give heals. And then I do like, or at least not dislike, the disease resistance. Or sorry, the, the not d disease resistance, totally opposite. The debuff buff. As ridiculous as my incorrect statement was. We take the cauldron. Excuse me, where, where's the cauldron I typically take? Right there. I don't know if it's worth it because we don't even use the stun, but the debuffs are relevant, I think. You know what? The speed actually is way better. Now that I'm using my logic for the first time in my entire life, anything that gives you extra speed seems so much better. Uh, because we want you to mark before any of our other units that do damage against marked units go. So you know what? Just take this, plus 4 speed. Speed 12, speed 7, speed 12, speed 9. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Shield Breaker. I have no idea, dude. Um, you do a lot of melee abilities, and you also do a lot of blight abilities. I don't know. Extra blight skill chance, I guess, maybe? Plus disease resistance? And then for you, we usually want, like, better bleed. I don't know, the bleed resist I don't even think will work on you. Um, so i just give you uh, this, and then what about flagellant specific? I guess I'll try, even though I think it's probably useless the way we built you out here. It's fa In fact, it's so useless. Let's be smarter, and instead just give you, like, minus one speed, plus a whole bunch of damage. Alright. Better, closer, warmer. I guess we could also use bandages to get over the, the bleed. But it still, it seems like it's a little wonky, right? Now that I sort of understand, at least it in principle, a little bit more, I'm ready. Hold on, I'm just giving the cheat sheet out. So, we're going to the Cove Medium. Yeah, that's correct. 16 to 20 food. At this point, I really am of the position where I'm like, why uh, why risk it, you know? We have so much money right now. Not self-sustaining, but like, you know, by going out on missions, we're self-sustaining. I don't know, it's probably one too many shovels, because we usually get some anyway, but... Two to three skeleton keys. Medicinal herbs, three to four. Let's do it like that. And then we got Skeleton Keys, Holy Water. We'll take like two of those. And then 16 torches, 14 torches. We'll just take two stacks. Okay. I think we're ready. Let's give it a try. All right. Weird-ish party. But now we're learning. We got new skills. We're trying it out. And this is also Nicholas can be ready for like potentially some Darkest Dungeon uh, extravaganzas. But keep in mind, we do have to kill the Sunken Crew or the Sodden Crew or whatever as well. Thralls will explode if left for too long. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. 
Explore 90% of rooms. I think we should go back to this one. I mean, there's treasure there. Why not? I mean, one reason would be because there's combat, but still. I think everybody should be good. We'll use the shovel here. We did only take four, so it's a bit risky. And we got citrine out of it, which is not particularly impressive, but... Let's give it a try. All right. We didn't take anything that uh, destroys stealth. Probably. One way I would look at this is a vulnerability hex on the piranha, and then Nicholas II has a really good chance to get a kill. Not surprising, I suppose. Um, now, if we could DOT bleed you, that would be for the best. It's a good bleed. It's a very good bleed. And then, I mean, you gotta, in my opinion at least, I do look at this. And I go, like, why wouldn't I Serpent Sway? And then if we get targeted, like, it literally has two blocks. That's incredible. Crit for 53 is disgusting. Still have a couple of units to go, but... Okay, they casted a Barnacle Barrier on a unit that's getting DOT'd to Christ already. Uh, followed by an attack on a unit that can't even be hit. But it... Wait, Gargling Garb just causes stress. Okay, that's, that's sensible. Um... I'm gonna hit you with a lower prod, lower damage as well. Uh, we still have one block remaining. What's your blight resist? Not very high. Pierce is armor piercing. But you would probably step in front of it anyway. So I think I'd rather Adder's Kiss you. Put on a pretty decent blight. You know we're gonna get stressed here, I mean. Well, we got lucky to dodge, at least. Um, and I guess he... Uh, I mean, you could always Reign of Sorrows, but... Probably like to attack you. Let me think about this. I don't know. I think I'd like to stack bleed if possible. 140. Nothing special here. Two to five. And the bleed is five points per round. I'm gonna try- we can always heal HP a lot easier than we can heal stress, so that worked out terribly, by the way, but... Nicholas is second. He did what he could. Didn't quite get us there. Octosasis, Octosasis. Ooh, Octosasis. You're dead next turn, right? Yeah. Oh, but he exploded! And Cory's on death's door, dude! I need a healer! We definitely should have considered killing the Thrall. Not my finest move. Alright, so you get up there and hopefully provide some protection for Cory, who at this point should definitely exsanguinate. Whatever, we heal. No, we don't! Well, the occultist has to heal Cory, I think. He could have used. Ugh, he could have used the DOT on himself, I guess, but. The DOT or the, the HOT, if you will. No worries. Still got a block. Dude, that's so good. Why didn't you tell me earlier? <laughs> Just kidding. There we go. Huge. Probably no bleed, yeah. But still. He needs to get hit for four. Or 11 works too. 11, that'll be fine. Uh, I am noticing we have a real problem with our stress. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Whoops. I didn't anticipate having such a problem with stress. If only um, treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. You definitely you dump Citrin and Onyx, I think, and then... Alright, I can live with that. I can live with it. We might be missing out by not taking deeds, but I think the treasure, in terms of heirlooms, was worth it. I hope. I'm I definitely. I've gotten some comments as well about not, you know, doing really the most uh, game theory sort of choices with what loot I prioritize and what loot I don't prioritize. But this mission, uh, to be honest, is kind of like a it's a learning exercise. I walked into it. 
carelessness will find minus 30 to hudge for 11 rounds oh my word so we certainly if possible would like the sapphire but supplies it's only at that I mean is the thing I know I shouldn't be in the habit of leaving sapphires behind but what do we need the gold for like relics and then things that keep our heroes alive in combat if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'm open to being criticized, but also informed about it. But simultaneously, like, it it looks right to me. Gold was a concern for a long time. Maybe it never stops becoming a concern, but... Wealth beyond measure. I feel like heirlooms and things that help us in combat are, are the most valuable right now. But we will. I mean, we're kind of full for now. Corey is definitely going to be, uh, I mean, if not afflicted, he'll be uh, virtuous, but I worry that he will be afflicted. But I also was reading in that post, and I'm not sure if this is from a previous edition or previous version of the game at least, Another but um, that Another he becomes, uh, their flagellants in general become stronger when they're inflicted in I terms of damage uh, creation. So, I don't know. Performed. We'll see. So far, we've only had that one bit of combat, so maybe it's uh, a moot point. And remember, I'll just remind you the reason we're doing this. Not to stall, is to get that final boss unlocked so we can kill it. And then, uh, really, we got nothing else but the Darkest Dungeon to to do. And I have no, I have not looked up anything about the Darkest Dungeon, so I have no freaking idea how they work. Um, we, we know we need to kill the Thrall. We probably have a couple turns. His resistances are low. I just hate that Nick goes first here. Nicholas the second. Um, like, I don't think it's worth doing a bolus. I think instead you might... Do you, what does more damage against Marked? Captivate. It also does high blight. They have relatively low blight resist. Okay. So we're going to mark unit three. And then Maya can do her Captivate on that unit. And we're also going to... Mark... The Thrall. That's great damage. So you're dead. You're dead before you can act. It's fantastic news. This is three to five. Five points of blight. Eighteen percent chance of crit. Plus we get a damage bonus against you. Five damage. If it blights you, you're dead. Okay, so we got one unit left. That was a much stronger approach. Now, the enemies are a lot weaker, but still. Good dodge. We, we should be in a great spot now. I mean, their speed is obviously extremely low. I think in this situation, a little bit of a heal is not that bad. We should get all of our actions before they get a chance to do anything. So anything with blight... Right, armor piercing. Yeah, that works just fine. <laughs> Better than just fine, really. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. All right, feeling a little bit better after that combat. Ooh, okay, rough enemies. I would expect that it's pretty much a guarantee Cory will become afflicted here. Now, I think we will focus on trying to kill the units at the back. Wow, that's tough luck. Their bleed resist is pretty low. Um, after this... I'm going to mark unit 2, and we're going to try to get Nick to get a kill there. Obliterated. Problem solved. And then we might be able to captivate unit 2. I don't think it'll kill him, though. Alright, let's see what happens to Cory. Alright, so he's rapturous, which apparently is bad. Madness. I thought it was uh, Hello Darkness, my old friend, but I don't know. Uh, who, the thing is, I really don't want Cory to be Octosastist. But I have to imagine that he will probably throw up a guard. But you know what? We have an obligation to keep him alive. So let's let's put up our own block. Octosastist, I believe, targets position one. So yeah, they did do a barrier, but maybe they did a barrier in response to me uh, putting up the barricade. Now, uh, I mean, I don't mind an Adder's Kiss, honestly, but we could also do 9 to 18 damage armor piercing. 
Your blight resist is pretty low. What's the damage? 2 to 5 versus 9 to 18. It's a pretty easy choice. Cory should definitely exsanguinate. Uh, no heals necessary. Strong debuff. Ooh, that's good. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy if you take a turn to heal instead of cause stress. Seaward Slash plus Octosastis would be dangerous, but I do have a damage buff. Now you gotta go... Yeah, that's just a lucky crit, but still. You start on that unit for sure. No bleed, please. Alright, that's very good. Again, just keep... I, I don't mind that he's low, I guess is the way I'm approaching this situation. Definitely just keep going for that. This guy, he's gonna get done anyway. Very good crit. Everything's going fine, except Corey's stress. And, to a lesser extent, everybody's stress. <laughs> But still, 15 points of bleed. Please stop getting around my uh, Aegis. It's very insulting. This opens up our Occultist to do a heal. And we still have this... Oh, the Mark. Never mind. That was dumb. Probably still the right thing to do, but... A little dumb nonetheless. Uh, so you're getting 6 points of bleed if you bleed. Which you didn't. Whatever, get all that damage on Cory before the heal comes in. Ah, he doesn't want it. He's he's chosen not to take it. I really didn't want that to kill you, but that's all right. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Eat up, my friend. Um, I mean, again, the rubies are good, but I'm gonna get that treasure on the way back. That's my game plan, at least. We know we have to do all these rooms anyway. Dude, we're on one shovel. Makes me very frightened. The on the way back, we should have more space in our inventory for uh, and purpose for that treasure. Clear. I mean, we have the skeleton keys for a good reason. And I'm not talking about the 2004 film starring Kate Hudson, Peter Sarsgaard. I gotta be honest, those are the only two. I think Megan Good is in it? I don't know. Not Matthew Good, that's a, you know, Hello, time bomb, where am I ready to go up? So we have a battle, at which point we'll probably rest. Or after which point we'll probably rest, I should say. And, uh, once we do that... I, I, let me think about this for a second, because I think we want to target the Thrall first. But, uh... It's possible we get a kill here. I actually like this a lot. So it looks like we're splitting damage. And, I mean, we are. Um, no stun. Oh, now we gotta, we're gotta. we forced to choose. Um, I think because of the stress potential, you try to kill this guy. And he is definitely torched. We could have killed him as well. That's, the, that's why I wanted all of my units to be able to act. Crit for 11, 12 stress, 4 points of bleed. You know, it's a good reason to use our bandages. Bleed resist, and we're in exsanguinate range. Um, which is lovely. Dracula, Fetus, you are getting some great kills. Exsanguinate. That's pretty good. does lower your speed forever, but, you know, ignoring that. Uh, we have to go for something here. 9 to 18 damage, 7 to 14, but 5 points of bleed. 27 crit, 18 crit. We made our decision. Wow! No stun. Debuff is actually pretty terrible. Once you realize that she's probably going to get Octosastus. Oh, we did it on Cory instead. That's great news. Resisted the bleed. And honestly, good. That was a very strong, very good play.
This one's no good. I'm gonna try something weird. So we're playing very defensively momentarily here. Please stop causing everybody stress. I'm gonna force you to bleed. Wait, the heal doesn't heal you? It heals somebody else, but it hurts you. Hmm. I guess the point of it... I don't know. I'm still working it out. <laughs> okay, so it's not a self-heal. Now that I know that, I think I, I guess I start to understand. You know, there might be situations where you would like to use this unit to heal and then focus the damage on him and after an exsanguination you could heal him if you so chose I suppose but I guess you could also stack it resistant to bleed it's unfortunate I don't know what, do you, what would you do please stop waits for the slightest lapse in concentration I did not peep camping skills at all, but just any status effect is. Oh my God, Crack! Why do you hate Corey so much? Hey, what the? Okay, they got a little rivalry going on. That's okay, you know. I I used to be a teacher. I can deal with this sort of classroom disruption. Um, do we know Baz relief. We don't. Strange presence. We got rid of our holy water. What if you put herbs on it? Okay, what if you, uh, what if you put anti-venom? No. Gotta assume it's not bandages. So it's probably holy water. Torch! Alright. Well, we learned something at least. We could just look it up, obviously, but where's the fun in that? Eat. A moment of respite. And then stress relief, just not on Cory, I think? One companion can't be marked. That does not seem that useful for us. So we're preventing nighttime ambush. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. I'd really like to remove more stress, but we can't. There's no other... Oh, wait. No, there really isn't any other... Uh, any other stress relief, so... Let me think. There's I mean, you can use stress relief. Okay, fair. But, I mean, apart from that, I would just do wound healing. That's not great. Is a rarity in the fever All right, but we're, we're getting pretty close to the end of this mission. I, I don't think I've done well, necessarily, but I do think I understand a little bit more now uh, how to use... Like, the Shield Breaker ability that I had just never looked at that actually gives you the protection is really nice. Uh, and I could certainly see situations where that would be relevant. Especially, like, imagine... You were fighting the Prophet and you had the pews coming down. It just like negates a huge attack. However, wish we discovered it earlier. My bad. That one's on me. In At this point, we find victory. starting to sack our combat advantages in order to get some extra heirlooms and I think it's for the best. Probably have, uh, I guess, three more, four more rooms would be the way I would expect this to go. It's not going too badly so far. A lot of walking back here, but that's, you know, how it works. That's why we keep food. Eight is not very much. It's two starvation events. What I'm most concerned about right now, to be honest, is one shovel. I'm also a little worried Cory might have a heart attack. Um, we could... No, because the thing is, I was like, we could give him the... His stress heal, but it doesn't stress heal him. It stress heals the other person and gives him stress. I still, like... I'm taking you at face value when you say that they, uh, the Flagellant is considered one of the strongest, uni the strongest units in the game. However, I also... 
still suffer for not knowing how to use them that well, I think. But, you know, that, that comes with practice. They're a little bit more of a more complex class than just, like, hit you and you die. Oh, hello, Collector. Long time no see. And made merciless. Man, I wish I wish we could have marked him. Um, man, I wish I could have marked him. It's good damage. Bleed works. You know he's collecting sooner or later. That's painful. You definitely have to smack him. Now, please, I know you're gonna collect. Bunch of highwaymen. Man at arms, I should say. Oh no, man at arms and high women. Um, we still, I think we just keep damage on him as much as we can. That's what we needed. Huge crit. Now I'm expecting some nasty attacks to come in. Dracula fetus. Wow, that's bad. That didn't look like bolster to me. No. At least he only healed for 18. <laughs> Alright, dude. Do me a favor. Take that. Ruin this fool. Decent damage. Just get him low enough, dude. We're almost there. Huge. Now you just uh, pass. That didn't look like a pass to me. It looks like you're trying to kill Nicholas. Who, who desperately needs a heal, but... Not a whole lot we can do about that with no occultist active. Huge. No. Alright, Nicholas may die. Prepare yourself for that potentiality, especially with the DOT. He lived to fight another day. Now... Should definitely heal himself, unfortunately. The thing is, I expect that he will probably be attacked more than once, but, I mean, you got to. Maybe one of them misses. It's either that or you go for the hit. Which, actually, we would have only had to do, like, 11, but... Yeah. Oh, never mind. It's like a guard? That's terrible. That was a, just an awful decision on your part. At least it didn't crit for once. And we resisted the bleed, which is absurdly useful. Ten. I really should hit you, even though I love the idea of getting a heal out there. So I'm going to do that. He resisted his own bleed. I completely understand now. All right, so you're dead. Beautiful. I wish we had time to get another heal out, but we can always eat at least a little. Collector's real annoying, dude. I'm happy this went as well as it did, to be honest with you. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Excuse me, where's the restoration? I, I've been promised some restoration. I'm only going to eat two food for now, but we'll see what our combat looks like coming up. Mm, none. One. Alright. And it's a walking combat, so I don't expect it to necessarily be that bad. Stress relief, please. Hey, it's only eight, but it's something. What are you talking about? It's not an illusion, it's a door. Where'd you learn English? Magic shop? This is fairly standard combat, and for once, uh, at least on this mission, we got the surprise bonus. I still think you... I mean, if we go last, there is a temptation to kill this guy, but I think you you just play the best uh, attack that you have. And if we kill one unit, I don't know if it necessarily matters who it is. Wow. Wow, you are bad. And then you gain five stress every time it happens as well. I mean, she can definitely kill the unit at the front. She has to do, like... She has to hit. So... Jesus Christ. At least we got one unit killed. 
I honestly do not care. You can stun Nicholas for all I care. Wow! Terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. The thing is, we just need Drac to be able to do a heal. And, I mean, you're on Exsanguinate, which we've used more than we've ever used before in the past. Did you resist? No, you didn't resist the bleed. In fact, you're dead. Nine points of bleed. Fantastic news. Heal for 25. Now we're starting to believe. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. That'll work. All right. Well, I, uh... Foolish to be honest, I'm not convinced... And driven into the mud. ...that, uh... Oh, we still have four food left. I guess we're keeping four food. That makes sense. Don't drop the shovel. You would be a fool. We're, um... Probably... I mean, we might have one more combat over the rest of this, but we're... Trying to clear some inventory space. We got one shovel. We got four food. These are enough to survive one check of each thing. Admittedly, you know, dumping those medicinal herbs may be a short-sighted, but it looks like we're going to come away from this mission, I wouldn't necessarily say in a great place, but not in a horrible place. Of course, there's uh, mistakes on the strategy layer, but those are things that, you know, I guess you, the more you play them, the more you just sort of... The light. If you did like the a second Darkest safety. Dungeon campaign, you'd be like, Oh, I'm gonna build the bank first! Instead, I was like, "What? I don't even know, what, what's up, Blueprint? I don't understand. Take me out. If I saw a secret room there, I, I might have broken down into tears, but... Hey, acceptable, good heirlooms, Nicholas leveled up, he got flawed release, which is horrible, uh, for, a, for a ranged unit. What did Cory get? Eagle Eye. Seems okay. And the Ag. Well, isn't it Den Hog? My obsession. Alright, nothing special. But what we're gonna do, I mean, there's some obvious stuff we have to do, like Sanitarium. Nicholas, your disease has to be treated. And then your quirk has to be treated as well. So who else went out on that mission? Maya went out. Honestly. Let's pay to remove her extremely expensive quirk there, if we're going to be taking her out on more missions. And then, the Drowned Crew. Not very good. At least, I don't maybe they're really good on the Darkest Dungeon, I have no idea. But we're going to go out on this mission next. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm so great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!